Now, one race in the Gold Fleet today. How was it for you guys? Oh, look, we had a we had a good race out there. We ended up with a third, so um, very happy with that. You know, it's obviously with all the good guys in uh, in one race, it it's you know can be very expensive. But to come away with a third is a it's another keeper, and we've kept our nine in the in the bag as a reserve for down track. And Matt, this race was originally going to be the final race of qualifying series, but due to the, the storms the other day, we have an extra race of Gold Fleet. You guys happy with that? Yeah, certainly. Um, I mean, you know, to, I think the schedule was to do six qualifying and only four races. Um, you know, Mal and I have always said we're a firm believer of going straight to finals and not sort of, I guess, skipping the qualification phase and using other events. But I guess that's a topic for a uh, lot down the track. Um, but yeah, to have an extra final race for us was, was, was great. You know, um, and it was really forward planning for the committee to, to be able to, to get that today. Um, you know, so we look forward to the next next few days. But as Mal said, anything can happen. You know, I'm sure. Hopefully, uh, you know, we, we just keep keep focusing on ourselves and keep trying to plug away and get the results that we need. Mal, you're saying yesterday after three races, the old bones are a bit sore. Today, a little bit easier with just the one. Oh, for sure, for sure. And uh, I must take my hat off to Donna. She did a wonderful job with me last night and this morning. Um, yeah, actually feel feel all right today. So, uh, you yeah, know, three days ago, just got to be as strong at the end as I am at the start. So, but I'm um, all good out of today. And Matt, the result today gives you guys a lead overall, but it's very close at the top of the table. Yeah, I mean, uh, I think the British guy uh, is dropping a five. So uh, to be in that position after six races um, or five races coming into is, you know, it's unbelievable. Um, it's a credit to him. So, you know, us third, I think we're only a couple of points. It's really nothing in it. Um, and I think uh, the, the regatta will be, will be decided, obviously, over the next few days and a few more final races. Nikki, Jess and Katie just finished the round robin here at Perth 2011. Nikki, tight on points overall, so some positives to take out of it? Yeah, you know, we had a four-way um, four tie for first place and unfortunately the countbacks didn't, didn't go our way. I guess we're really happy with how we sailed and, you know, to come out, you know, equal first in this round robin is quite good, but at the same time it's a little bit disappointing to just lose on a countback to make it through to the top two. But you know what, the good thing is, is we made it through to the repper charge, so we've got another chance there. We've got plenty more racing and I think we're going to have a big confidence boost knowing that we came out pretty much the top of our group against the rest of the other 16 girls that we're going to be racing. And Jess, I guess a big point of difference is this is just your second regatta together, whereas all of these teams have been working together for years, so there's some real positives there. Yeah, it's been like, it, it is a real big positive to come out in our second regatta and sail like we have today and, and the last few days. So yeah, we feel really good as a team and everything on the boat's working, so we just got to go out there and smash it in a couple of days. And Katie, some really close racing today? Yeah, yeah, some really, really close races. Uh, some in our favour, some not so much. Uh, but yeah, an enjoyable day sailing. I think it's, it's hard to come away with what was an equal first place and then find out we're third, but that's all right. Onwards and upwards. Yeah. That's right, that's sailing for you. <laughs>